every campsite has a dump station or has a dump site right there where you are. So we're gonna hook up right here at this dump station. First, ensure your valve tanks are closed and remove your black tank cap. All right. Now you're gonna take this end of your sewer hose and you're gonna connect it. There are little hook-on attachments. Make sure that you're connected to them or if not, you're going to end up with a not so pleasant surprise. So this isn't all the way on. You'll know that you're all the way on, it'll lock on. See, that's all the way on. It's nice and secure. Now you're gonna take this in. We have a clear hose so that I can see what comes out. I know you don't wanna see what comes out of your family's business, but this will let you know when you're rinsing it, if it's clean. All right, so for this one, this is a dump station. We're gonna first screw our clear elbow on. Be prepared, it's gonna probably smell. And now we're gonna connect this portion to it. Make sure it's on there nice and secure. If this wasn't here, then I would be able to screw it in a little bit tighter, but this is blocking my way. So I'm gonna use this and the rock to help keep it on there so that we don't have any accidents come flying out. So we have everything all hooked up and ready to go. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the black tank. Things are gonna come out. And then once I'm done with the black tank, in order to rinse everything out, I pull my gray tank. And that is how you dump an RV. So another important part, once you dump the black tank, is that you're going to want to flush it all out. Luckily, this dump station provides a hose that's connected to water, but most of the time you will use the black tank hose. It is the hose that is black with orange piping, and you'll want to use that. You'll get this all tight. It's just like the regular water hose. Ignore the fact that these people are using a white hose. You never want to use your drinking water hose for the sewer hose. For Evergreen RV Adventures, you always use the black hose. If you use, if you get them swapped, unfortunately, there's a fee for that. So we're gonna turn this on, and what happens is there are little jets on the inside of the black tank, and they swish around, and they get all those bits of toilet paper and other unmentionables, and they swish it out. So what I like to do is I turn on the water, and I close the black tank. I let it swish around for about 30 seconds to a minute, then I pull it, I let it wash out, I look here in the hose to make sure that it's running clear. If not, then I repeat the process until the water is running relatively clear. Then you'll know that you're done flushing your black tank. To release and take off the hose, you'll do the same thing as when you put it on. You gotta give it a twist. All right, and I would hold it down this way so you don't get any stuff important make sure to put this right back on and it hooks in the same way twist it so it's on there nice and tight okay now a word to the wise i would hold this up hear that noise that means there was some left in there so you want to just get all the rest of it out then you're going to pull your hose out And in our rig, we have this tube in the back. You take the cap off, you feed everything in here. You just push, push, push. The only thing that may not fit in is the elbow. Then you'll take it off and put it in the box. Last important step is your gloves. You're going to take these off like a regular way. If you're a medical professional, you're already one step ahead. You're going to take your index finger. You're going to loop it under one of the gloves. You're going to pull it off inside. You're going to ball it up in your hands. You're going to loop under. Just like that. See, I told you dumping the black tank wasn't that bad. Your next step is to wash your hands and head on down the road. Thanks so much for watching.